Hi guys, welcome to Mashrips. Today we are going to discuss about some features that's offered by Signal app. So it's an open source, not for profit, end to end encryption app that you can trust. Let us set aside all these features and I'm gonna talk some security features that offer by Signal app. Please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from Mash Tips. Whether you are a new user or already using the Signal app, check this video and make sure you did the best to secure your app and your data. Or somebody is trying to spoof your phone number and trying to register your Signal account with a different phone. The Signal have a security feature to avoid that. That's called a registration lock. Whenever they are trying to register your account with a new phone, they need this registration lock. This is an additional security layer that you must enable. Open your Signal app, tap on the profile icon, go to privacy and scroll down and registration lock. Turn this on. When somebody is trying to register in Signal app with your phone number, they need to have this PIN number. For iPhone users, when you switch between the apps, you can see the preview of your Signal chat window and you can disable that preview. When you switch apps on iPhone, anybody can see a preview of your Signal chat window. How to mask that? Go to Signal app and tap on your profile Tap on privacy and scroll down and turn on this enable screen security. Now come back to home screen, opening the chat window again and see when I'm switching, the signal app is automatically using an overlay of their logo to hide the chat window. If you're an iPhone or Android phone with a touch ID or face ID, you can enable that feature on your signal app. Tap on your profile icon Tap on privacy, scroll down and screen lock. Once you enable this one, your iPhone can unlock Signal app with your face ID or touch ID. Just in case if you want to clear all your chat history from Signal app, you can do that with a few taps. Let us see. Tap on your profile icon, click on privacy, and scroll down and clear chat history. Signal app is going to clear history of all messages, attachments and calls. Doesn't matter whether it's an iPhone call or it's a Signal call or WhatsApp call, you can see all history in one unified place. That's a phone app. If you do not want to display any call history from Signal app, you can hide it from phone app by using this feature. You can see a missed call here. And for iPhone, the calls are also registered in the phone app. So when you open your phone app, and when you check your recent call history, there are two numbers from Signal Audio. And you can hide the Signal calls or message history on your phone app. Open and tap on your profile on privacy and tap on this one show calls in reason to turn it off. Do you want to block someone on signal? You can definitely do that. It's easy. They have few taps and you can simply block somebody from messaging you or calling you on the signal app. To block a user, open your signal app and see the history of that user. Tap on it. Tap on their profile and tap on block user. And you have to confirm here. You can unblock anytime by following here and you see the button here, unblock. When you read a message on Signal app, the sender can get a read receipt. And if you wanna disable that feature, open the Signal app, tap on your profile icon, go to privacy, 
and disabled read receipts. Signal let you send a disappearing message and you have more flexibility on this feature. You can set from one second to one week for the message to disappear. Tap on any group or any user, tap on their profile and you see here disappearing message. You can turn this on and there is an option to set the disappear message from five seconds to one week. Turn this on and say set one hour. And when you check on the profile, you can see the disappear message showing here as one hour. Signal is offering an interesting feature, view once. You can send any media files to anybody and limit it to view only one time. You can send a picture or a file to any individual or into a group. The file will automatically disappear from the group after the view one time. So let us try to send a picture now. Turn on my camera and you can see an infinite button here. Tap on it and now it's changed to one X. That means the picture can be viewed one time. Let me send it. You can see the information. And for the group, the group members received your photo and they can open it and view one time. Then they can close it. And you try to open next time, it won't pop up. It's showing that it's already viewed one time. Let me send a picture now. See the picture here. And you can see a tiny icon infinite means there is no restriction for this picture. They can see as many as time they want. Let me send it. And they can open as many as time they want. A set sample you send a file to a wrong group. You can immediately delete those files for everyone in the group. Check it here. You can delete the message that's already sent. Go to your signal and open the chat window. Tap on the image or file you sent and tap on delete button. Here you have delete for me or delete for everyone. Let me select delete for everyone. And now you see the message is also deleted from the group. When you turn on the notification on Signal app and when you get a message, probably anybody can see that on lock screen. You can set on the signal to display only the name of the sender or to display the name and the details on the lock screen. So let us see how to do that. By default, Signal can show the message on your lock screen on your iPhone. Let me send a message from my Android to iPhone. On iPhone lock screen, anybody can see the message, but there is an option to disable this. Open your Signal app, tap on your profile, tap on notifications, and show name, content, and actions. Tap on it and just to display name only. Now we are on a lock screen again and I'm going to send a message now. Now it's display the name of the sender and just a new message. When you call somebody through Signal app, they can get your phone number, but if he is smart or if he's a kind of a hacker or something he wanna do, he can get your IP address where the call is originating. There is a way to hide that IP address. You have to turn on always relay calls on your Signal app. Open your Signal app, go to profile, tap on privacy. It's going to avoid displaying your IP address to any third party like your ISPs or somebody is trying to hack you. All the calls will route you through the Signal server and it's gonna hide your IP. When you send some data or when you send a picture to Signal app, you are not expecting somebody is going to take a screenshot of it. And fortunately for Android users, there is an option to block it. On your Android phone, open Signal app, tap on settings and tap on privacy and tap on screen security. This will avoid any screenshots. So let me try to take a screenshot now and see. Come back to the home screen and let me try a screenshots. And you can see a message here, Android won't allow you to take a screenshot. 
for android users the signal app request the keyboard to disable any personalized learning from your typing behavior open signal app on your android phone tap on settings and go to privacy and you see incognito mode the signal app will request to the keyboard to disable any personalized learning please check out description below for the latest features that offer by signal app and if you know more security features for signal app please comment below for our viewers <laughs>